everybody, today's reflection will be brought to you by Edna and Bong Nidia, who are leaders for Couples for Christ. The story in today's reading about the three young men rescued from the burning fiery furnace is one of my favorites. It is so inspiring how they stand firm in their faith amidst imminent death. They found the truth that set them free from their fears. When I found the same truth, fears, worries, anxiety slowly diminished. What did I do? Prayer. Nothing happens if we don't pray. Our prayer should change us. Our prayer should free us. If we pray and nothing changes, then perhaps this Lenten season, we need to start a different approach to our prayer. In the past, my prayers have been mostly me talking. When I included a greater time of, of quiet and silence in my prayer to simply feel God's presence and love and to listen to Him, my life has never been the same. God's love is so overwhelming. The daily heartfelt love experience is simply so powerful to allow me greater peace, joy, and loving responses. Jesus is the truth and the way to life. How about you? Has prayer changed you? Why not try a daily quiet time to have the heart that love experience with Jesus? May, May God, God bless, bless you more. O oh God, by your abundant grace, you enrich us with your many blessings. Grant that as we continue our Lenten journey, we may pass from former ways to newness of life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.